I'm Kiki. And I'm Keisha. And, and we, we are Super Mom DIY. DIY. So an easy way to update your cabinets um, is a coat of paint, which these cabinets have been painted. And just to imagine, you see the frame here? That's the original color of the entire kitchen and cabinets. So I did get them painted. I did not do it myself just because I wanted to make sure I had a smooth, um, clean application. And then, you know, I still work full time, have the children and everything to take care of. So I didn't want to take too long. So that's a project I wanted to be done. But um, a way that you can update your own cabinets is by adding new hardware. So I got these from Lowe's or Home Depot, one of the two. Um, they weren't here before, so it added a little spice. And now what I'm doing is I'm going to change out the hinges. So hinges come in two standard sizes. So what you want to do is take a hinge off at home um, and then take it to your you know, local hardware store and match it up. So you see how much nicer that looks. So let's go ahead and get started. What you'll started. need is a drill. You'll need to, of course, count out how many hinges you need. And the hinges, here we go, they come two to a pack, of course, because it's two per cabinet. I've already done all of my bottom cabinets, and you see the hardware that I added to the drawers. Hi, Buki. Hi, Buki. And you also need a screwdriver, and then, of course, some scissors, just so you can open the package. And this is just a regular, what is this, 18-volt Craftsman drill from any hardware store. What you're going to do is take your uh, drill, and on your drill, you're going to have two different directions. Mine is via a button to say if I want to unscrew something, or I push it the other way if I want to screw it in. So I'm going to push it that way. Yes, ma'am. I'm trying to try something new here, and you're just not going to let it happen. Mm -hmm. That's the next DIY project, doing something in your head. Huh? Yeah. All right, so you have your cabinet. And what I'm going to do is just drill to take the bottom screws out. Those come out really easily. And this has been here forever. As long as you don't paint over them, it ought to be easy for those to come out. So next, I'm going to have to turn the camera off because I'm going to have to use one hand to hold the cabinet up while I use my drill to unscrew the top ones. And the reason I need to hold it, because I don't want the whole cabinet to fall off on me. All right, so I'll be back. So now I have the cabinet. So now I have the cabinet laying down on the counter. And next, I'm going to take the other side of the hinge off. Now, as long as you're using hinges that match exactly the size, and like I said, there's about two standard sizes, at least that I saw in the hardware store, then you shouldn't have to do any redrilling. You should be able to use the exact same holes that are here. So let me go ahead. All right, so I've taken those out, Mommy. pulled those screws out, Mommy. and for me, for my truck, oh, I didn't get that one out good well enough. Mommy. Bless you. You want to open that? Yeah. All right, for me, because I have small children around, um, for all the extra pieces, I'm just throwing them in this bowl for all my trash, and I can dump it all at the same time. It's just easier than trying to open and close a bag um, or having, you know, screws drop on the floor and then I have a child that puts it in and out. All right, so you're going to see the indentation or the space where the previous hinge was. So you just lay your new hinge right there. Now, my holes don't line up exactly, but they're about close. If I kind of sit over it and look, I see it will line up and it'll work. So I'm going to take my screws with the flat heads on them. So you see how that's flat on the top? Can you tell? Versus the decorative one. Sorry for reaching. This one has a little curve. I'm not sure if that's in focus. This one has a little curve across the top. So I know that one's for the outside. And there's really no wrong way to put these hinges on. Like I can't put it on. I can't put it on any other way but the right way. Like unless I did this and this. That don't make sense because it doesn't fit into that groove there. All right. Let me go ahead and sit this here, put one screw in. Remember for your drill, turn it the opposite way because now you're not unscrewing, but you're going to be screwing. Oh, I didn't say that right. That did not sound right, did it? 
and there we go. And because you have that inner ridge in your cabinet, it could just, should just kind of sit in place. And you see here, again, no. my holes are lining up. So I'm just going to use that decorative screw and screw in at the bottom and then the top. But don't tighten it all the way until you make sure you get everything um, set. Then once you're sure all screws are fitting in their respective holes, then you can tighten those up. You did it? Did it? Good job.